sine graph we have already sketched the graph of the cosine function we call it a function because each x value gives us one y value in this section we are going to sketch the graph of a sine graph before we do that look at this interval when this interval is used in the graph it tells us that we have to use the x values from 0 degrees to 360 degrees this 0 degrees is where we start 360 degrees is our end point notice that the smallest x value is on the left and the largest x value is on the right look at this inequality again this is called an inequality this inequality is read like this x is less than or equal to 360 degrees and greater than or equal to zero degrees it is important to know that x is less than or equal to 360 degrees and greater than or equal to zero and x is an element of zero degrees and 360 degrees mean the same thing x is an element of zero degrees and 360 degrees means x is between zero degrees and 360 degrees once again this zero degrees is on the left and this 360 degrees is on the right let's have a look at this example in this example we want to sketch the graph of y is equal to sine x and we are given the interval from zero degrees to 360 degrees look at this inequality in simple terms this inequality means our angle which is this x is between zero degrees and 360 degrees both zero degrees and 360 degrees are included this inequality can also be written like this we start at this zero degrees and end at 360 degrees let us draw a table of values look at the table let us start at zero degrees then end at 360 degrees let us make our intervals to be 90 degrees look at the table let us write down the equation of our graph which is y is equal to sine x look at the table look at zero degrees in the place of x we are going to put zero degrees so far we have y is equal to sine zero degrees using a calculator we see that sine zero degrees it's equal to zero so this means y it's equal to zero let us put zero in the second column just under zero degrees look at the table x is equal to zero it's here y is equal to zero it's here zero degrees and zero is a point that lies on our graph let us put 90 degrees in the place of x we will have one let us put 180 degrees 270 degrees and 360 degrees in the place of x we will have zero minus one zero respectively our completed table looks like this let us quickly draw an empty graph note that our y values range from minus one to one 
on the graph, let's put minus 2 to positive 2 on the horizontal axis or x-axis, we will start with 0 degrees, then 90 degrees, then 180 degrees, and so on. Look at the graph. Look at the table again. Look at 0 degrees and look at y is equal to 0. Let us put a dot where 0 degrees and 0 meet. They meet here. Let us put a dot where 90 degrees and 1 meet. They meet here. Let us do the same for 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. Once your dots are completed or plotted, you should have something like this. As you plot more and more points, you can see that the graph is curved. No part of this graph is straight. If we join the dots, our graph should look like this. Let us quickly write the coordinate. Remember that on the x-axis, y is equal to 0. Look at 0 degrees, 180 degrees, and 360 degrees. They all have the y-coordinate being 0. Look at this point. 90 degrees and 1 meet at this point. Look at this other point. 270 degrees and minus 1 meet here. Let us have a look at another example. In this example, we want to sketch the graph of y is equal to sin x plus 1. Let us now draw the graph of y is equal to sin x plus 1. Look at this equation. By looking at this equation, we can see that each y value in our coordinates will be added with 1. Let me explain this using a graph. Look at the original graph, which is the graph of y is equal to sin x. Look at this point. Remember that 90 degrees is the x coordinate and 1 is the y coordinate. For the graph of y is equal to sin x plus 1, the 90 degrees stays the same, but the y coordinate, which is 1, will be added with 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So this means 90 degrees and 2 is the turning point of the graph of y is equal to sin x plus 1. Let us put a dot where 90 degrees and 2 meet. They meet here. Let us add 1 on each y coordinate. 0 degrees and 0 will now become 0 degrees and 1. 180 degrees and 0 will become 180 degrees and 1. 270 degrees and minus 1 will become 270 degrees and 0. Finally, 360 degrees and 0 will become 360 degrees and 1. Look at the dots. We have plotted our dots. Let us now join the dots. To minimize confusion, let us use a dotted line when we join the dots. Our complete dotted graph will look like this. Look at the two graphs. The graph with a solid line represents the graph of y is equal to sine x. 
This is the original graph. It is called mother graph. If we shift the mother graph up by one unit, we obtain the graph of y is equal to sine x plus 1, which is shown by the dotted line. So, this 1 makes the graph go up by 1 unit. Let us have a look at this example. We want to draw the graph of y is equal to sine x minus 1. To draw the graph of y is equal to sine x minus 1, we simply shift the graph of y is equal to sine x downwards by 1 unit. Look at the original graph, which is the graph of y is equal to sine x. Each y value in our coordinate will be subtracted by 1. The point 90 degrees and 1 will become 90 degrees and 0. 360 degrees and 0 will become 360 degrees and minus 1. Let's do the same for other points. Let us now join the dots. We are joining the dots in order to have the graph of y is equal to sine x minus 1. This is how our graph will look like. Let's have a look at another example. In this example, we want to sketch the graph of y is equal to 2 sine x subtract 1. And we are told that x is an element of 0 degrees and 360 degrees. You can compile a table of values if you wish. That way, it will be easier to sketch the graph. In this example, we are going to show you another method. Let us look at an easy method we can use to draw the graph of y is equal to 2 sine x subtract 1. Here is a simple sketch of y is equal to 2 sine x. Let us now label the horizontal axis. We start at 0 degrees, followed by 90 degrees, followed by 180 degrees, and so on. There are spaces or intervals of 90 degrees on our horizontal axis. Look at the picture. The graph cuts the x-axis at 0 degrees, at 180 degrees and at 360 degrees. We call 0 degrees, 180 degrees and 360 degrees the x-intercept of the graph. Look at the equation y is equal to 2 sin x minus 1. Look at this 2. This 2 is called amplitude. It will affect the height of the graph. Look at the graph. The amplitude is the distance from here to here. The distance is 2 units. This is true because next to sine x. We have a 2. Let us now write the coordinates of the turning point. Let us start with this point. Look at this point. If you look down, you see 90 degrees. This means the x coordinate is 90 degrees. Look at this point again. If you look to the left, you see that y is equal to 2. This means the y at the turning point is equal to 2. Finally, our coordinates at this point are 90 degrees and 2. Look at the coordinates 
of the turning point. Look at the graph. The coordinates of this turning point are 90 degrees and 2. Look at this other turning point. The coordinates of this other turning point are 270 degrees and minus 2. We have sketched the graph of y is equal to 2 sin x. Look at this equation. This minus 1 tells us that the graph of y is equal to 2 sin x minus 1 must be shifted one unit downward. Show us how the graph is going to move down. Let us start with this point which is 0 degrees and 0. Because the graph is moving down, only y coordinates will be affected. So point 0 degrees and 0 will become 0 degrees and minus 1. Look at the dot. This point is 0 degrees and minus 1. Look at how the point moved. Let us do the same for other points. 90 degrees and 2 will become 90 degrees and 1. 180 degrees and 0 will become 180 degrees and minus 1. 270 degrees and minus 2 will become 270 degrees and minus 3. And 360 degrees and 0 will become 360 degrees and minus 1. Look at the dots. 0 degrees and minus 1 is here. 90 degrees and 1 is here. 180 degrees and minus 1 is here. 270 degrees and minus 3 is here. 360 degrees and minus 1 is here. Next, let us simply join the dot. The graph of y is equal to 2 sin x minus 1 should look like this. Now that you have worked with sketching the graph of sine, let us see if you can try the following activity. The first one has been done for you.